But when I'm up on the balcony, when I look down on the dance floor, which is the reflection mode, then I suddenly realize there's much more happening. So I think leaders have to be really aware of all the changes around them in the world. There's constantly change. And if I'm as a leader, I'm not aware of it. It's very hard to be adaptable. Uh, and it's also important not to assume things simply because we always have done it that way or because that is the way we are used to doing things. That's not very good in the sense of being adaptable. In this fast changing environment, it's really important to be hyper aware indeed of what's happening around where and then from hyper awareness you have to go to making quick decisions because it's not much time to decide on doing something and from a decision the next step to be adaptable is to also execute on what you have been aware of what you have decided and what you want to then bring into the world as a next step and this is not a one time off you have to do this again and again, though the cycle will continue. You have to be hyper aware what's happening. You have to be quick in making a decision and you have to execute in it with the awareness of self versus system. So how do I influence the system and how does what happens the system influences me? What's also very important is to bring your people along in this adaptability, because it might be quite difficult for people to understand what's happening and why you are doing what you are doing. So communication and being really, really good in including people, asking their opinion, giving them insights is also a very important part of adaptability. There's a very important point to understand there is like two main situations you can be in that is activity and that is reflection mode and most particularly leaders who are very experienced and who have done that uh, for a long time they are often constantly in action mode so we are constantly acting and acting and acting you will not be aware of what's happening around you you will not be aware what is going on in the world. So the reflection is the important part. And particularly in the leadership development I'm supporting and we are supporting at, at my bank, there is a big part of different ways of reflection. That can be on your own, that can be in small groups, that can be with the help of a coach, that can be through the uh, reading or digesting of information. But I think the reflection piece is a very, very important and sometimes overlooked skill. So the importance of reflection has to be stressed and also the means how to do it. And that leads nicely into this uh, thinking which also comes from the adaptive leadership framework between switching uh, between the dance floor and the balcony view. So the dance floor would be the action. And when I'm dancing, I'm not aware of what's happening around me very much because I might see one or two people around dancing, but I cannot see what's at the other end of the room. Are there other dancers? Are there people who are not dancing at all? Is there maybe a second band and they are dancing to a totally different tune? But when I'm up on the balcony, when I look down on the dance floor, which is the reflection mode, then I suddenly realize there's much more happening as what I was aware uh, to begin with. And then I can start uh, to really bring the holistic view in and also see what is happening on other people's minds, what is happening in other areas of society, in other areas of the organization, which I have to consider to make my decision. So the first part is uh, that people can bring their whole self to the workplace. It's not to be two people when I'm at home and another person when I'm at the workplace. I have to be in a way safe that I can bring my whole creativity, my whole thinking, my whole experience to the workplace. And it is valued in that environment in the sense how it is also needed to be uh, a forward thinking organization. I think that's very important to people because they want to have this holistic view of themselves and they have also this 
ex uh, expectation that their leaders can see them as holistic people. And here we go back. It's kind of funny that you uh, mentioned that because it goes back again to this reflection mode, which a leader also has to have. And that can be in both directions. I have to know myself better because I have to realize how do I react to certain situations or to certain challenges. And I naturally also have to understand better how are people reacting to it or what are their uh, requests or demands in that area. But I think it's a very important point and becomes more and more important, has a lot to do with these many changes we are facing in the world. The world as we see it, constantly shifting, but shifting quite radically. So what we might have uh, felt safe about is now suddenly maybe a threat or is a challenge or is moving us in that direction. So the leader has also to have, I think, the tools in hand. And that can be being aware of what is mindfulness, having a practice, an own practice of well-being, having uh, the capability to talk about it in a sense-making way so that people feel addressed with this. And maybe even going uh, to be uh, developed in, in a, first, uh, a mental health first aider uh, training or something like that, which really in a holistic way approaches the topic. Because being aware is one thing, but then that would be the action being able to talk about it or to address people about it. That's, again, another skill which I also have to uh, adopt and have to learn. I think there is a, a, a real need for leaders to make space and time for that reflection. It's not like you can squeeze that in the five minutes of the day or you can think about I mean, it's better to reflect for five minutes, but it's not that you should give that only the leftovers. I think it should be a priority to have these also free spaces in your calendar to make people aware that you are doing it, that you can, in a structured way, reflect on the day or on the week and also prepare for what you want to do in the near or longer term future in a reflective way. Mm -hmm. And that has to have a very a secure time in your calendar because otherwise it will always fall off the wagon. <laughs>